Hi, Suzanne Stoddard here of Legitimate Affiliate Training, and today I want to review PhotoPays by Sei Adelecki. I would like to show you the truth about these products so you'll know if it's a sound strategy and if it'll work for you. We'll take a quick look at the sales page, and then I'll show you inside the product to see if you're getting what they promised. I'll then give you any pros and cons and my best recommendation based on my years of working online. So stay with me, okay, because there's some serious facts that you need to know before you even consider buying this product. And if you'd like to know how I make money online, just click on my link below for some free training. So let's take a quick look at this sales page. So they're asking you if you've ever Googled how to make money online and that they're exposing a three-click secret system that makes them $7.95 every time they post a photo on social media by exploiting an untapped $155 million platform. So this is what you would call your typical shiny object, okay? And if you want to know what a shiny object is, just click on my link above and I explain to you what it is and how to get out of this cycle. Because the language that they use on pages like this is directed at beginners. Those of us who have been working online for some time know what it takes to make money and know that this is a lot of hype and lies that they're hoping you'll believe so that you'll buy their product. They're counting on your impatience, on your greed, on whatever reason it is that you want to make money online. And they're making it sound much, much easier than it actually is. In fact, things like this are not even true. And when you scroll down here and you see things like 360 day money back guarantee, please take this with a grain of salt because many vendors rarely honor this promise, let alone paying you additional money if you fail. And if you'd like to see what it took for me to get a refund, again, click on my link above and you can see the journey I had to take with another vendor to get my refund. So as you scroll down, they're going to again use all the language they can think of to push your emotional buttons and get you all excited in hopes that you'll pay for this product. But why don't we go inside instead and see if it actually delivers. This is your dashboard when you get inside and it just gives you overall stats like how many sites you can have and I expect the total sites you can have for a front end purchase is 10 how many banner images you made, ads, and your niches. And here they have a general overview video, and it's the same thing you can find under tutorial videos. This is a video encouraging you to sign up for a webinar where they will be promoting a high ticket product. And then you have your tutorial videos. The first video here gives you an overview of the software. The second video talks about the different traffic sources, which I'll get into in a minute here. This is for one of the upsells. This shows you how to use their little image editor inside this software. And this last one is for another upsell. So basically, what you want to do is create a photo site. And all you have to do is enter the name of a site, choose which niche you want it in, give it a bit of a description, upload an image from your computer that you want as the logo and click create. And here I'll show you a couple that I made in here. This one here, Pet Photo Mania, looks like this. So I uploaded a little image of pets. I added a banner ad, which I'll talk about in a minute. And then because I chose the pet niche, it's bringing up a bunch of images relevant to that niche. Now what he's actually done here is integrated this software with a free online image site called Pixabay. So when you go to this site, and anyone can, it's free to use, and these are all images that you can use royalty free. So if we put in pets, you can see that these are all the same images that the software pulled up. So the whole idea behind this is that you're uploading images pertaining to a particular niche, and you're hoping that people will want to download these for their own use and trying to make money with things like banner ads. But there's a big problem with this entire strategy. If we come back here to the site and click on Get Paid, they're saying that there are four different ways here that you can make money with this site. 
And the first one is by posting your photos via your account on these image sites. And I'm sure you've heard of some of them. Adobe Stock is a big company and so is Shutterstock. So in the video, he explains to you that you can create an account by clicking here. And some are fairly easy to do, but there is a problem with all of this. I did a little bit of research because I was very skeptical about you being able to do this. So I dug a little deeper and went into the terms and conditions of these links that he's sending you to. This one is for click a snap and right away they tell you that you are only permitted to upload images which are your own or you have created. They do not tolerate members attempting to profit off of someone else's work. So even though you're using images that are free to use, that doesn't mean that you can turn around and upload any of these images to a site like Clickasnap and expect to make money off of them. It's breaking copyright law. You did not personally create these images and that's illegal. I then went to the Adobe site and they say the same thing. You're prohibited from submitting content created by other artists. This includes content available as a free download at any location. So they're even more clear about it. I then went to Shutterstock and as you can see here, they say the same thing. You must own or control the copyright of all the content you submit to Shutterstock. So this means you can't submit work obtained from other sources. Public domain content cannot be submitted under any circumstances. If you don't have complete rights to this content, you may not submit it. I then went to Big Stock. Now this is actually owned by Shutterstock. And when you come down here, this is a little more legalese talk, but it says right here quite clearly that you're restricted to using content in such a manner that it infringes upon a third party's trademark or other intellectual property. And then finally, I went to Pixie. This is the last of the sites that you link to. It says here again, the same thing, but with, with different words, that you cannot upload or display anything that infringes on copyright. So there you go. The main thing that they are saying you can do with this software is to create a site, post images on these sites, and then make all this money. They even were as bold as to say that you would get paid $7.95 every time you posted a photo. And now you know that that's absolutely ridiculous. Because you are breaking copyright law here, you're not even going to be able to use these sites the way that they tell you you can. You're just going to get your account closed down. Another thing they have here are banner ads. So what they're wanting you to do is to add a banner ad to your site and I showed you one that I added here and that you would add an affiliate link to this so that when people see this site, which I doubt they will, that they will click here, purchase whatever it is that you're linking to and you'd make a commission. And there are two ways that you can do this. You can create your own banner ad by using this simple little editor that they have here. And there is a video that shows you how to do this. But what you would do is choose your site choose where you want it. And you have an option here to use some that are already built into the software and then add your affiliate link here. Or you can choose a file that you have on your own computer if you created it, let's say with Canva. And you would add it here and click save. And you can see all the different banner ads that people have been trying to use. But what he's not telling you here is that when you try to get an affiliate link through JVZoo or Warrior Plus, it's not going to work for beginners. And this is why. The vendors on these platforms will not accept a beginner as one of their affiliates because you've had no experience, you've got no sales under your belts, and they're not going to trust that you're going to send them quality traffic. Now, ClickBank is a little different. You can get affiliate links easily there if you create an account. But we're always back to that issue of traffic. If you don't get the proper kind of traffic, you're not going to make any money. So let's talk a little bit about that traffic. When we go into post on social media, 
It takes you to this website, which is absolutely ridiculous. A lot of vendors use this and it doesn't work. And this is why. They give you a ton of links to a bunch of different sites. So of course it looks impressive, but other than the usual Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, maybe Reddit, Messenger, most of these are totally useless. Many of them don't work. Some are just inappropriate for sharing links and many are in foreign languages. So let's check some out. I clicked on Sina Weibo and sure enough, it's a dead link. And that's just one of the many dead links in here. Then there are those inappropriate ones. Like if you look down here, this is to WordPress. This is not where you share a link. This is where you would link up your WordPress site. And I doubt many of you have your own website. There's many that I don't even recognize. Like what is this? Stock Twits. This is a site where you sign up to get news about ideas on the stocks you care about. So that's inappropriate to share an affiliate link to. So this is what I mean by a ridiculous way to share your link because it's just not going to work. And for that matter, if you did have a Facebook account or a Twitter account, how many followers do you have? Do you really think you have enough people following you that are gonna be interested in buying what you're promoting? And back in the software here, another way they say you can get paid is with Google Ads. And I don't know why these low quality products always say that you can do this because it's nowhere near as easy as you think. In order to make any money on a site like this that has Google Ads, you would have to have thousands and thousands of visitors visiting it every day because you're only making pennies per click. So you would need loads of traffic to make any money. And even if you did try, you're not going to get accepted. It's very difficult to apply for Google Ads when you're a beginner and you don't have any website or unique content online that they can verify. The first thing they say here is for your site to succeed with AdSense, it should have unique content that's relevant to your visitors and provides good user experience. And down here it specifically says that Google Ads may not be placed on sites with scraped or copyrighted content. So right there is the big reason why you will not get approved. Heavens, I blogged and added unique content to my website for over a year before I was accepted with AdSense. Here's another tab here called Traffic. And this sends you to a third party site called Maxima. Now this is a legitimate site to be able to share posts to your different accounts on these platforms. But again, this is my question to you. Do you have a Twitter account, a Tumblr account, Reddit, Vimeo, Telegram, and Dailymotion? Dailymotion and Vimeo are video sharing sites. So do you create videos? Reddit and Tumblr is where you can post ads. But again, do you have accounts on these sites and do you have a huge following? Same with Twitter. It's one thing to share to accounts like this, but it's another thing to make any money if you don't have a targeted audience. So back in this software here, the banner design was the little editor I showed you. You have your videos, there's a support desk, and of course, there's always the upgrades. So let's take a look at what those are. The front end product is $19. If you try and click away, you'll get a $2 discount. The first upsell is unlimited for 167, downsell 47. OTO2 is a done for you version for 197, downsell 97. And then there's autopilot for 47, one hour profits for 67, traffic on tap for 97, a reseller license for 127, and the 10 times edition for 47. And all I can say is, why bother getting all these upsells when your front end product is not going to work for you? And just be careful, okay? Because the sales pages are very enticing, but as you saw inside the software, they're all available in here anyway. So what are the pros and cons of this product? Well, I could see no pros. They're telling you to do something that's illegal and it's not going to work. So what are the cons? 
Well, where do I start? The first one is, of course, it's illegal. You're taught to do something that's wrong. You can't upload someone else's images to sell yourself, even if they are free to download. Another con is that, well, everything else is moot, really. Even though I think those traffic sources are absolutely terrible, it doesn't matter anyway because you won't be able to use your site. So my recommendation is no, stay far away from this product. Wouldn't you prefer a much safer alternative? If you click on my link below, you will get access to honest training to build your own profitable business. And on top of that, you'll be part of an awesome community of people who will help you every step of the way. So thanks so much for watching my review today. If you liked it, would you please subscribe to my channel? If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I'll get right back to you. So until next time, keep doing your research. Cheers.